I'd like to thank Paul and Alison. Um, I can't imagine what they must have thought when we first met. Um, remember this, in the middle of a full-on house party in Ipswich, where Kyle lived, and he panic invited them in for tea in the middle of a rave. Still, somehow, those early yelled conversations, um, despite all of that, you come to accept and welcome into the family, so thank you. At the house party, apparently, he couldn't take his eyes off me. I hadn't noticed, but my mum had, so... After that meeting, she would not so subtly always ask if I was doing an LRP or seeing Bristol friends, is, is Mark going to be there? Does, does Mark happen to be there? She was even more interested when I mentioned that Mark went to Maudlin. And that's because, some of you may know, I was originally going to do my undergraduate degree at Maudlin and I ended up doing it at Bristol instead. And I remember having a conversation <laughs> with my mum in third year saying, going to Bristol was incredible, I met the most amazing people, but what happens if it was one of those sliding door moments and actually the man for me was, meant, was at Maudlin? What happens if I was meant to meet him there? And then my mum would say to me, she was like, well, you never know, maybe one day you'll meet your Maudlin man. Maybe one day the man of your dreams. Well, <laughs> I met him another way. <laughs> I met him another way, but here he is, my maudlin man, my absolute best friend and my soulmate, and now my husband. I, Mark Allen Heath. Take you, Catherine Elizabeth Spanky. Take you, Catherine Elizabeth Spanky. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. On this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, better for, worse. for worse. For richer, for poorer. For, for richer, richer, for, for poorer. poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Um, I first met my daughter at Allen Brooks Hospital <laughs> and it has been uh, an amazing journey since then. Um, her upbringing was fairly normal and then she met Mark, <laughs> who I must admit we regard as particularly an amazing young man, I must admit that. <laughs> he really is amazing. When he first came to our house, uh, we have a, an entrance hall which has a large regulator clock hanging on the wall and uh, it'd been there for years and Mark comes in and said, oh, the chime, it chimes in F sharp major. <laughs> the next important thing in their lives is that I got a phone call at the office and uh, it was Mark and uh, he rang me up and asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. And then I thought to myself, hang about, I mean, when we were in Egypt once, I remember there was a guy there that uh, actually offered me a hundred camels for Catherine's hand. <laughs> you can't do an awful lot with camels, but I have actually, so I did Google it, and uh, one camel is worth a hell of a lot of money. I didn't know camels were that expensive. But, what was Mark offering? And uh, he was offering, you know, far more than that. He was basically offering uh, to make my daughter a very happy young woman, which was worth zillions. It was basically priceless.
In many ways, I think Mark and Catherine are, are very similar. They're both talented linguists, talented musicians, but I think it's, it's, it's very clear that theirs is a relationship that is one of equals. Neither is in the other's shadow. And in fact, I would go further and say that each brings out the best in the other. And that is really quite special. And I'm only excited to see what the future holds for you both. I still can't believe that you want to spend the rest of your life with a slightly short music geek who asked you on a date to a fancy work boat party uh, only for you not to be let into the party and then for me to go on the boat anyway without you. <laughs> Good question. And yet you're here. <laughs> you must be mad. Catherine is the most fiercely intelligent, most unfailingly loyal, most, most exquisitely beautiful woman you will ever meet. She, she has the brain of a genius, she, the voice of an angel, for those of you who've heard her sing, and a heart of gold. I really do count myself the luckiest man alive to call you my wife. Um, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Um, and what a journey it's going to be.